What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode of your daily dose. And before we get to the video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Delroy Grant's court appearance was brief. The many charges he faces, rape, assault and burglary, weren't even mentioned. Police were given three more days to question him. At his home nearby, forensic investigators were still looking for evidence against him. His alleged crimes go back 17 years to around the time his family moved in here. Neighbours described a friendly community and a man devoted to his disabled wife. He's such a nice guy, but I just can't, it's a shock, it's unbelievable. You know, totally devoted to his wife and children, and as I said, it's just come to a shock in this small, tight-knit community. In Delroy Grant's back garden, evidence of one hobby, target practice with his air rifle. According to neighbours, Delroy Grant was a familiar figure here, often seen out and about in these streets, pushing his wife Jennifer in her wheelchair. Both of them are Jehovah's Witnesses. Grant faces 22 charges, five rapes, the oldest victim 89, six indecent assaults, the oldest victim 82, and 11 burglaries, most of them violent. The alleged crimes committed across South London and Surrey, the majority in Shirley, Croydon and Orpington. The detectives on Operation Minstead had identified up to 200 linked offences. The investigation has been long and complex, a huge reward for information was offered. Grant was remanded in custody and will be back in court on Thursday. Martin Brunt, Sky News, South London. So today we're going to be looking at the night stalker rapist Delroy Grant who was convicted of sex attacks on pensioners in 2011. Delroy Easton Grant was born on September the 3rd 1957 in Kingston, Jamaica. He is a convicted serial rapist who carried out a string of burglary and sexual assault offences between October 1992 and May 2008 across South East London. Grant was an accomplished burglar and had broken into the homes of over 90 elderly women aged between 68 and 93. He was positively linked to four reported rapes and around 30 other sexual assaults. The true total may be much higher as his victims were often too traumatised to speak to police. Although committing many crimes, Grant was dormant for long periods. After the first attack in October 1992, no further offences were reported until 1997. After a particularly violent rape on the 5th of August 1999, where his victim almost died from her injuries, there was another long break. This prompted some media speculation that the rapist had been imprisoned for an unrelated offence or that he had died. However, on the 13th of October 2002, 10 years after the first attack, he struck again. Seven confirmed attacks took place in the summer of 2003. Another break then followed. A further series of confirmed attacks took place towards the end of 2008 and into mid-2009. The offences occurred in defined geographical clusters in and around South East London, 
Most of the offences occurred around Shirley in Croydon. Grant usually singled out lone elderly women as victims. It is thought that he was meticulous in planning his crimes. He may have placed his potential victims under surveillance for some time, since he never broke into a house occupied by anyone but a lone elderly occupant. Grant gained entry into the homes of his victims from the side or the rear, either through an open window or by removing a window pane entirely. He had been known to use tools stolen from the victim's own garden shed to remove the window beading. He ripped out telephone wires either before entering the property or after gaining access. He then disabled the lights either by switching off the electricity at the meter or by unscrewing light bulbs from their sockets. He then approached his victim, shining a torch in her eyes. Often his first words were to demand sex. However, he had been known to spend hours in victims' homes, either before or without assaulting them. He had been described perversely as exhibiting tenderness, sometimes gently kissing victims on the cheek. He exhibited a knowledge of geriatrics, knowing how to support his elderly victim's spine and how to pick her up by the elbow. He had sometimes been shamed into leaving without committing a sexual assault when his victims chastised him. In one incident, a victim caused him to apologise and leave by angrily demanding, what would your mother think of you? He was also known to have apologised after taking a victim's pulse, saying, I'm really sorry, I won't do this again. Police have speculated that Grant was ashamed of his actions, perhaps explaining the long period that sometimes occurred between offences. Despite this, he could be extremely violent. During his most violent attack on the 5th of August 1999, he raped his victim twice and left her bleeding from a perforated bowel, injuries that nearly proved fatal. On the 15th of November 2009, it was reported a 52-year-old man had been arrested in connection with over 100 sexual offences in South London. Detectives described the arrest as significant. On the 16th of November 2009, it was reported Delroy Grant of Brockley Mews, Brockley, South East London, had been arrested and charged with 22 offences and appeared at Greenwich Magistrates Court. He was remanded in custody to reappear at court on 19th of November. Then on a Sunday evening, the 15th of November, a Vauxhall Sephira was spotted parked in the Shirley area of Croydon, which was already being staked out by police officers following recent break-ins believed to have been carried out by the Night Stalker. Delroy Grant was arrested as he approached his car, having just attempted to enter a nearby pensioner's house. On the 24th of March 2011, Grant was found guilty of all offences charged. He was sentenced to four concurrent life sentences with a recommendation that he should serve 27 years before being eligible for parole. Grant was also given concurrent eight-year sentences for seven indecent assaults and concurrent six-year sentences for 18 burglaries and attempted burglaries. New evidence has come to light which suggests the Night Stalker, who is currently serving four life terms for a string of horrific attacks, could have had help from John McGlynn, a 63-year-old who is behind bars for raping an 88-year-old widow. The attack, which took place in 1987, saw McGlynn and a second man, who has never been found, break into a woman's home before tying her up and fleeing with her money. The attack took place in Beckenham, South London, when both McGlynn and Grant were living in the same area. The pensioner told police that she had been woken by two men, one of whom was black and shone a torch in her face. She, he then soothed her and gave her water, a common trait in Grant's crimes. The attackers then handcuffed the terrified victims, tying her feet with rope and demanding she reveal where her money was kept. During the four-hour ordeal, the phone lines were also cut, something which Grant did during several of his attacks. Well, thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that notifications button and help me grow my channel. Thank you.